So we'll see. We'll see how things are going to pan out here as we jump into the final match of PGS1 again. Our eyes are here. Our eyes are on 17 Gaming. Will they get the first circle? Last game, we tried to get it as far away from them as we could. They still got third place. Let's see where this one is going to take us. It's going to be hard based on that plane path to get one away from them initially. Uh, unless it's like a full milli circle or something like that. Circle will come out very shortly here, and it is going to be West, and oh, that server is cheering behind us. Uh, they love these circles, of course, but in this match, the first one might be around the corner as Bill oh, spots one, spotted the second as well, doesn't want to take the shot initially. Mime now, though. <laughs> if only he knew. Now seen no tree for cover. Love the fact that he waited with that shot, but H went instantly there in return. Wow, Flash got shut down. He was waiting with open arms, but somehow H went able to recover and kind of expect the trap play here by day trade. Belmoth now gonna let loose of the grenade. It looks pretty darn good, but it just bounces too far. H win doesn't even take any damage from it. That molly should be good. Those crew should force H win off the tree. Good thing for him is that his teammates have already deployed smokes, allowing for him to cross on over. And Sonic's right now, while first place might be out of reach, they are in the midst of the big bunch of teams here. There are so many placement points, so many PGS points, so much prize pool money that could potentially go with or against them, depending on how this match unfolds. And this match could get blood because there's going to be a lot of teams hungry for every point yes. they can get to try to climb that leaderboard, to try to get into, again, those top eight positions. Na'Vi, one of those teams we're looking at to see if they can recover from what has been a lackluster last couple of days. Yeah, precisely. Uh, I have been very impressed with the way they've been handling themselves today. SDK right into Tianba, a team that maybe has hopes of trying to do something on this 7-7 with the opener on to Vegas. Purdy Curdy and Benta trying to wrap around into the house, but 7-7 having absolutely none of it. Alo down as well. 7-7 needs one more piece to complete the puzzle. Pow Pow here out in the open. Penta's up there, and it's going to be STK gone. It, in mind, instantly take me back to Tempo Storm. Once tried to do a similar play, didn't happen. For the sake of STK, they stayed alive for longer than Tempo Storm did back then. But uh, kudos to Chiamba for staying alive throughout all of that. Caught by surprise, able to rag up all four, and most importantly, zero casualties on the side of Chiamba. They still need a good game. They need all four alive. Tosi here. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> happens, happens. Happens to the best of us. We've seen it throughout this tournament. Gen G getting involved. There was a knock on to Glass. Heaven as well, knocked by Uba. Gen it's Ghibli falling apart at the seams. Everybody is looking at them from multiple different angles. There is no safety to be found. It happened off camera, but 17 Gaming has regrouped as well on that southern side. So look for them to try and stay put in that position for as long as possible. Towards the west we go as Howl in trouble. They found two onto Na'Vi, but taking casualty themselves as well. Cerberus instantly saw the rotation coming through. Howl falls 15th place. That is them out 11 for now. We'll see if they drop further down the leaderboard as this game unfolds. It's a big loss for Tiamba there, losing Lin Shu. Mel with a good grenade, finds the knock onto Flood. Another out from Uba. Is that going to get anything else? No, it doesn't go far enough. LG... Mostly able to avert disaster here so far. Grenades up into the upper stories. A little bit of damage to Snakers and Relo. But so far, LG should be A-OK. -okay. That grenade not going to connect either. Avi just needs as many, as many points as they can here. Yeah, no reason to stick around. No reason to try and hide it out. Mika able to find that one. Honestly, with all these fights going on right now, 17 are laughing. No doubt about it, but that has been so successful for them. What a grenade from Mel. Finds a ton of damage on to LG. Oh, Footsteps are one. Ooh. Oh, it's so good from Mel. Right on point. Takes down Stakers and Flood. Kickstart on the roof. Can do nothing but watch. We can't do the math, but Mel got all the geometry down in order to get that one through. Second ones will fall as well as Luminosity continue to take casualties. Ascent alongside Danawa. This fight has been brewing for a while. Now Mika will fall. Loki able to fight one. So damage already done on both the two teams chasing. Now it's all on the soul. Ascend here trying to stun him up. Trying to flush him out. Molly's in hand as they continue to push Angle Soul backed into a corner. Gonna use a stun of his own to buy a little bit of time, but Brex crossed. Soul here has to back up. He gets a little bit of damage. He's gonna push through the Molly. Is on fire, dodges the grenade. Some fancy footwork here, trying to find the knock, but he can't find it. There's one, what? there's two. Soul, he needs one more, but it's a grenade from Brex. Sir, it takes down his teammate, but they do find the kill. And the collapse is coming there instantly here. So for as much time as he could, and that is going to be a second in trouble. Brex, go though, somehow, still alive. Seven HP to work with. Salute, now wrapping around the corner. That's gonna be denied, and that is going to be a set down and out in the final match of PGS1.
17 Gaming can only watch the kill feed and smile now. The teams that were threatening them the most are beating each other up. Still Tianba with three alive. Still potentially a role to play in this perhaps, but it is looking all but over. Kickstart now taking a grenade to the face from Uba. Uba going to launch another one there, but he is dealt with by kick and LG hangs on. Luminosity looked Perfect in group stage. Navi did so in winners. Now both of them crumpling here in the final stage. Tian by able to find one more. That's down or out. We have one team on the hunt. Currently sat 19 points behind our current first place team of 17 gaming. Luminosity hearing shots in the compound. Are they committing to it? No, I think they're swinging around. Yeah, they're going to fan out and try to avoid this altogether. But Relo took the worst angle here. And he may be punished for it skirting around the side of 17 and yeah the Xiao Bay is gonna find another point that just makes things all the more yep. difficult need another one 10 kills from here on out 14 kills now make it 15 kill win for Tianba needed in order to best 17 it's looking impossible but if there's a stage for it if there's a time for a comeback history to be real they started the day in 10th place if Tianba pulls this off that would be a comeback of a lifetime no doubt about it Sonics into Cerberus territory. Two knocks and, well, the Sonics are gone. Snap your fingers and, and Sonics will find themselves out in 11th place. Circle's going to shift down to the southeast here. Oh, 17 is still in. <laughs> yep. They are still inside the circle, you guys. You had your chances to take them down early in the previous games. You didn't. And now they get to live to ride home about it. Shots from Imas. Taming very, very weak here is Genji trying to get into somewhere to some kind of safety maybe the edge of the field but not much left in this circle to work with no nope. and if there's one team we don't want to give the points to right now that's little ghost finding the double spray with the barrel in hand from the other side one point confirmed one stolen away from cake style but gen g falls in 10th instead tiamba is going to try to fight cerberus here we've already seen cerberus stalwart on their defense hi saki with the hip fire, taking down 7-7, seven, seven, but long skirt, good for the knock on to him. Emos trying to come to life. Tycon got the knock on to long skirt. Pow pow. Last one alive for Tiamba. The last hope for anybody or anything to stop 17 from winning this yeah. event. Yeah, trying to now make his way on over that nade will be close. Not gonna be enough though. And I think with Pow Pow being a sole player left alive, it's probably gonna be written as is that it's gonna be practically impossible for anyone at this point to catch up to 17. But with that said, still so many PGS points to play for, still prize pool to play for, so much on the line for these teams, regardless of whether or not they can make first or not. Yeah, still a lot of teams in the top half of the leaderboard alive clawing for every point they can. If those are grenades, they're going to be pretty darn good. Cerberus may be out here. Pow Pow with a great grenade finds two. Still Hemos on the flank, but Pow Pow continues his reign of destruction. Can't peek over just yet. And knowing that he has Cerberus nearby on the leaderboard, he needs to rank up as many points as he possibly can now. Circle shifting away. He needs to get that heal off. Does he do it in time? No, not going to happen. Tianba down and out. Well, we know how this will end, but let's find out the road that we take to get there. Nurin's going to finish off Tosi. Ghibli's run has been ended, but what a performance from them. What a absolutely just pleasant surprise yes. they were here in these grand finals. A lot of surprises in these championships so far, and Ghibli definitely one of the bigger ones. Did not see that one coming whatsoever. Now, Sushu Xiaobei, I think they know that this one is going to be theirs for the taking. They're fanning outside of the circle to find some of these last kills. Yeah, Puchil's trying to find the heads, but cannot. Grenade comes up short, fortunately for him. Smokes have to come down. Little Ghost has a crossfire. That's going to allow Xiao Bei to push forward off the backs of these defensive smokes. Grenade is going to be out. Nurin's here. A little bit too far away to take much damage. Only nine comes through. Looking to see if they can get his teammate revived. Loving that we're seeing 17 not just care for the championship. They want to win the final game too. They're not done playing until the fat lady sings and she hasn't sung just yet. One more comes through. That's stage straight out. 17 again taking matters into their own hands. Love to see it. Just absolutely phenomenal stuff here from 17. But now they have their most formidable foe left here in this game. Twisted Minds to their north. They will be looking in this direction. A straight up 4v4 could be very exciting with Hemos out. It is two teams remaining. Overview rolls in both Spear and Batoons. They have to back off. It's simply too strong of an angle to a push. So shoot, able to find Batoons. That's one down. All right, that's one. Three more to go here. Xiaobei spray just not quite good enough. 
Took some damage from Perfectix at the end of it. Suju comes downhill, Ooh. taken down by Lou. So still hope here for Twisted Minds to come through with the final win. And again, for Twisted Minds, they know that they need points here. Gotta try and go for the flush. Just one placement point extra, one, or one kill point extra could be the deciding factor in both prize pool and PGS points. Blue now under pressure from Shao DD. A lot of damage being done. A grenade splashing by Shao Bei. Still alive. Still trying to do something, but a great grenade from Spyro has Shao Bei down. Little Ghost and Wu just with Hay Bills and a vehicle for coverage. We'll see if they can somehow bring this one home. Two versus three. Twisted Minds has the better outlook, but they are not inside the circle just yet. At least not Spyro and Lu. No reason not to play for it here for Twisted Minds, but it's downhill out in the open of a crossfire between Lil Ghost and Shao DD. See if they can get it done. Shots are starting to ring out. Lou is down. One player left here for Twisted My. Oh, two players left. Excuse me. Perfectix out in the other side of things. Spiro down. Okay, now it is one player left here for Twisted Mind. Perfectix going to be spotted. Lil Ghost dialing him in. Is almost down and out. Uh, if 17 is able to get this done. Going to confirm the kill there on the outside of things on the Spiro. Perfectix, maybe if he could find one knock on one side, he could still get this done. He's going to get in the vehicle. Bold play here, but has to make some kind of maneuver. The shots are starting to ring through. If they can just find the head, they will have a win, and they will have themselves a championship. The spray comes through. 17 Gaming takes the chicken dinner, and at long last, your PGS1 champions will be 17 Gaming. So I can fuck my world for 72 hours